Hey there, what is up guys, Pixel here, back with another Genshin Impact video, and uh, I've been playing a lot since the uh, global release and uh, made a lot of rerolls until finally settling with uh, Venti here, as uh, you can see. And uh, what I want to discuss with you today is something that I'm not hearing come up much in discussions, but it's about traversing the world and the uh, proper units for it. I uh, take a cycle between gameplay and exploration where I just absolutely scour an area and comb it clean. Uh, as clean as I can at least. And uh, after doing that for long periods of time, you just can't help but think of ways to, uh, you know, improve it and uh, make it easier. And that's what I'd like to talk about right now. So, uh, okay, first... 5 star units are indeed kind of hard to talk about since not everyone has them, but fortunately there are a lot of 3 and 4 star units that can also help us out in uh, our uh, spelunking endeavors. And uh, from the units that we have available to us right now, we have Mona, Piching, and Venti for the uh, 5 star units, and then Ningguang, Kaya or Razor, and then Amber for the uh, 4 star units. Let's go ahead and talk about Ningguang first because she is the only one who can do it currently. Uh, Ningguang has the uh, passive ability that can detect minerals and mark it on your minimap, which is really helpful especially for Coral Lapis hunting in Liyue. My ores practically piled up with just me going around and uh, it also helps that her basic attack is able to destroy these mineral nodes easily for fast, efficient ore gathering. Next we have the uh, unit used for moving around and getting a lot of ground covered and that is Mona. Mona has a passive skill where uh, if you run she'll kind of like turn into water and move around almost unhindered. And I do feel that it's faster than the uh, usual running animation that others have. Now uh, directly related we have the uh, units that improve stamina when running and making you go further than usual. And uh, these are Razor and Kaya. I uh, actually have them both in this reroll account and I've tested running with uh, different configurations like uh, just Mona, then one of them, and then both of them in the party. And I didn't really feel any difference at all from one unit versus two units that augment running stamina. So it's safe to assume that uh, they don't stack. So just keep one or the other. I actually think Kaya is superior as his E ability can freeze water and give us something at the ready when we need to freeze uh, anything actually while uh, going around the world. Next we have units that help us a lot with platforming. Uh, in this game Genshin Impact, between the uh, running and the gliding, we have absolutely amazing horizontal movement. But uh, we have absolutely horrible vertical movement too. Now uh, I'm not talking about climbing. Climbing is great. I'm talking about the jump. We have this really weak and sad jump that uh, the game is uh, designed for us to be really inconvenienced with that jump. So these units absolutely conquers that handicap giving us better vertical movement and a better platforming experience. These units really do uh, save me a lot of time when uh, going about the world. Unfortunately, they are again both 5 star units so if you have them then uh, good for you. And uh, that is Piching and Venti. Piching's E ability enables you to teleport where her marker is placed for a decent amount of distance and holding down the E ability button will enable you to place the uh, marker where you need it. That small extra distance the teleport gives you for gliding for example goes such a long way. Really helps a lot. Okay next up we have Venti. And uh, when you hold down Venti's E ability, he'll create this air vortex around him and you can actually use that to propel yourself upwards using the glider. Now this is really damn nifty, it's almost like a cheat. It's a wind vortex on call anytime, anywhere when you need it. 
you can do so much with it and saves you a lot of time uh, going about the world, uh, just making uh, some uh, platforming problems absolutely easy. And uh, as a bonus, Venti's passive uh, is uh, about gliding. He uh, makes the uh, gliding stamina consumption less so you can glide for longer. Amber actually also has this ability, this passive ability. And uh, I tried using them both uh, for a test and I don't really feel any difference so maybe just one or the other should work. If you don't have Venti, uh, you can use Amber if you need uh, that extra gliding time because uh, they save stamina for when gliding. And uh, oh yeah, as a bonus tip, I just thought of this right now. We have the uh, J.O. Protagonist. If uh, you don't know, the uh, Protagonist can actually change elements when you reach the uh, relevant shrine for it. Uh, right now, say for example, we can uh, just change to uh, two elements. Uh, when you reach the UA, you can change the main Protag's element from Wind to Earth. Now, uh, MC's uh, E ability summons a solid rock and you can actually stand on this rock it's a solid construct on the field and uh, this gives you an extra foothold an uh, extra vertical boost on demand and if you combine this with Ching's teleport or Venti's uh, wind vortex you just get more vertical movement it's just good all around and finally probably the most important is it's not really a secret but if you put two animal characters on your party, on your active field party, you'll get a, a buff that raises movement speed by 10%, skill cooldown will be reduced by 5%, and then stamina drain reduction will be further reduced by uh, 15%. That combined with uh, Kaya or Razor's uh, passive ability to further reduce stamina cost is golden absolutely golden and will make uh, running around a lot more efficient uh, that and and, uh, and uh, if you are able to increase your stamina further by gathering animal sigils and geo sigils and then offering them through the shrine then you'll be able to have more stamina to work with and uh, yeah yeah I guess that's all of them uh, if you have any of them, any of these units, do consider using them when you really decided that uh, okay, I'll just take this good chunk of time exploring and going about the world. And uh, if you have all of them, then that's absolutely amazing. Me personally, I would like to have Mona for moving around, Venti or Kaching when I need that extra lift, Ingguang for the uh, mineral detection and Kaya for the uh, running stamina uh, manipulation and the uh, freeze access. And uh, yeah, that's it for me. If you uh, enjoy this video, kindly hit like, share, and subscribe. Maybe tell your friends. Uh, it helps us out a lot. And maybe tell me what you think in the comments down below. Maybe you know a better unit for traversal and such. And uh, yeah, I've been Pixel. Have a good one, guys. See ya.